Okay, Megan. Um, this is Megan Tobin, and this is her second semester of voice lessons, at least here at the university. Um, and this is our first singing lesson, really, of the semester because you were sick and then I was sick. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here today. Um, we've got uh, a couple of musical theater songs, If I Loved You and In My Dreams, and then the Amy Beach, Take, Oh, Take Those Lips Away. Um, so we'll warm up and then um, maybe we'll look a little bit at If I Loved You and then if we're feeling good and still have time, perhaps we'll touch a little bit of Take, Oh, Take today. Cool. Okay, so uh, we've not been singing for a yeah. season. <laughs> um, I love to start with the NG. Just sliding up and down. straight down like mm, think as if the notes are going outwards in front of you mm. Mm. and still then really slide and connect through all of them mm. that's okay and that's what we're doing this words to work out those kinks yeah. <laughs> transition in the voice there but what if you think of even on that low note supporting it mm. Mm. it's still going up and going places and here tickles I like to do a, it's just like a nice little gentle instead of like the instead of the really oh, forceful yeah. one yeah <laughs> can kind of shake off mm, the gunk yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lovely lovely sound though good balance um we'll continue to ground ourselves in the mid voice just to give us a good solid foundation and it's especially useful in musical theater e said like sing this pattern can we like that's some sort of purpose behind it i don't know what you want to say imagine there's words there or something you have to communicate to somebody Let's see what that does and Yeah, it's a little like... Oh, you're doing, you're doing great. 
but feel free to do a little <laughs> to clear that. And then um but new vowels. <laughs> Allergies go crazy. Again, um, think of putting some intention behind it. is so satisfying but at first you're like <laughs> but that represents some sort of yearning perhaps for you and as you mm. lift that soft palate as you sing it and it will crescendo the note through that effect so mm -hmm. just try it see if you can grow it while you're on it I feel like 
slightly more closed off today. But even that being said, it's like, it's feeling a little more relieved. Okay. Yeah. Slightly more closed off as in like sinuses are full or as in like, mm, or just a little like bit tension, I guess. holding back. Yeah. Yeah. There's just like a little more tension today for some reason. It's, we're getting back in the groove. Yeah. There's a camera on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, absolutely. But those are some of the bigger, biggest sounds I've heard from you. You know, Ooh. like, <laughs> thinking where we started last mm -hmm. spring and then where you're just popping right into today yeah. is a yeah. really great spot. So, I want you to, like, notice, oh, wow, my voice is more expansive. Yeah. I honestly realize. feel like last semester, it was, like, getting back into it was super like hard getting back into singing yeah. after not doing it for yeah, a couple for years. Like three years okay yeah and then this semester like even when I was singing over the summer a little bit it felt more close to like where I was in the in, spring like in high school actually oh like yeah backtracking like, yeah oh. but like in a good way like I feel like um like it used to be really easy for me ah. to like release high notes and like I used to feel super like relaxed when singing and I'm much closer to that point. Now. I see what you're yeah, saying. Because yeah. <laughs> you were like, Oh, I'm out of practice off Yeah. And man, it used to be easy but it's taken some work now. Exactly. And this summer you're like, Oh yeah, and it's I'm kind of getting back to like the yeah. Easier. Yeah, and, it's a little more e coming out easier now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. I see what you're saying. <laughs> Um, cool. So, without any further ado, um, If I Loved You, have you listened to this much? Or? Yeah, I listened to it over the spring, actually, so, I know, it's kind of bad, so we'll okay. see. Okay, but you have the tune like, in your ear, yeah, at least. Yeah. Um, and it starts out kind of talky, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This opening is almost like an operatic, like, recitative. Yeah. Where it's kind of, it's, in this whole scene, actually, they, they are having dialogue, and they're mm -hmm. talking, and then it starts to kind of emerge into this recit, kind of half singing. Yeah. When I worked in the mill, weaving at a loom. So we can think of that as a very um, talky kind of place. Um, so speak that to me first. Now, not in the like, when I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, but like in a more elevated like stage voice. When I worked in the mill, like that. Mm, okay. When I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, I'd gaze absent-minded at the room, <laughs> and, <laughs> and half the time, the shuttle? The shuttle. Okay, why am I forgetting the words? Okay, <laughs> and half the time, the shuttle would tangle, tangle in the threads, and the warp get mixed in, mixed with the warp? With the woof. Oof. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. It's, I never realized how interesting You're like, what is this talking about? <laughs> so she works at a mill. Mm -hmm. So this is this uh, musical is set in like the 1870s, mm -hmm. I want to say. Mm -hmm. She works at a mill where they are weaving. Like, oh. if you think of like um, yeah. Sleeping Beauty, that, that wheel thing that mm -hmm. they've got. So, um, so she's weaving fabrics mm -hmm. um, at the mill, weaving at the loom. And while she's doing this, and you know, you got the pedal going and stuff, and that's how you hear, you hear that motive is her job, what she's doing. When I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, I'd gaze absent-minded at the roof. You know, it doesn't take much thought, and she's daydreaming. Mm -hmm. And half the time, the shuttle would tangle with the thread, so things would get tangled up. Uh, mm -hmm. Oops, you know. And the warp get mixed with the woof, so all these... Mm -hmm terms of the thing. Yeah, I was there. like, I don't know what to talk about. sense. Ah, <laughs> so that's what she's saying. Um, uh, stuff of her job, and that's why yeah. the words are weird. <laughs> if I loved you. It puts the if I loved you at the very end, but it's her point is, I don't love you. Mm -hmm. If I loved you. I do. I would do these <laughs> yeah. things when I when I worked at the mill. I I would be doing this. I I would gaze up to my and mm -hmm. and, um, and you know if I were in love, I wouldn't be paying attention to my job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'd get distracted and stuff. If mm -hmm. I loved you, mm -hmm. but she's saying, but I don't. She doesn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and I think in some the staging it doesn't in the solo version. But he says, but you don't. And she goes, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow I can see exactly how I'd be. And then she describes how she would be if she were in love. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. So speaking one more time, now we've maybe yeah. get these words around our tongue. Okay. When I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, I gaze absent-minded at the roof. Um, 
Oh, and I have the time. And half the time, the shuttle would tangle in the threads and the warp get mixed with the woof. If I loved you. If I loved you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, let's try kind of getting into singing starts on the pitches now. When I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, it just feels like you're talking. Um, on a pitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you do that? So what did you have for breakfast today? Can you sing it to me? <laughs> <laughs> I had coffee. <laughs> you had coffee for breakfast. Did you yeah, eat any food? No. <laughs> <laughs> I slept through my alarms. Uh -oh. And I woke up at noon. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> and I had coffee and came here. <laughs> so. Okay. Did you gaze absentmindedly? Was there something on your mind keeping you from getting out of bed? <laughs> Let's um okay, I'll do it's three of these little things and then just give it a shot when I work, so yeah. modulation because she's so unsure of herself so the key is unsure of itself <laughs> Time the shuttle would tangle in the threads. Notice the dots. Mm -hmm. Half the time the shuttle would tangle in the uh, threads. Okay. <laughs> Half the time the shuttle would tangle in the threads. Yeah, that'll help keep okay. it um, not get so tongue tied. Yeah. And half the time the shuttle would tangle in the threads. Two, three.
they pause in different ways. Yeah. Um, you're doing great sight reading. Um, to end. towards ah uh, okay, okay. and see how that does. I'd disappearing like he he was gonna leave you mm -hmm. right yeah. soon you'd leave me off you would go in this of, of day never never to know how I loved you if mm -hmm. I loved you um because she's too scared to say so right mm -hmm. I'd let my golden chances pass me twice or but mm. how I loved you skip to the middle of the code as we're at right now with okay. the those little roll chords mm -hmm. that's your pitch um oh okay. yeah not the beginning of the coda but yeah, 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 we've yeah. kind of overlapped it I see okay. yeah. You know, as we were doing the warm up earlier, and we were kind of growing into your sound. Yeah. I'm kind this, of cutting it. <laughs> you're kind of, yeah, in, yeah, in our shyness, we like we go to a safe spot, which is a small spot. Um, but this song is actually really great for doing the this exact thing of mm -hmm. opening up and growing the notes. Mm -hmm. um, the first place that I notice it is page. Yes, page four. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you maybe even before that, but particularly at round in a circle. as you start to open it up. Okay.
one already open, but keep it open. <coughs> These okay. don't decrescendo at the ends of them. Except for maybe the last few, right? Yeah. Now momentum and yeah. some passion behind it some purpose behind it yeah and it'll be there great for sing and really great speech like quality at the opening as well so um yeah I think this was a big thing for me about a year ago where my my voice teacher was like Carly you're singing with your practice room voice yeah. and I was kind of playing it safe right um and so I since that you know we're perfectionists so we'd rather like do yeah. it cautiously <laughs> um, um and so for now i'll let you start things cautiously mm -hmm. but once you're like okay i'm there i'm safe let's and then explore yeah i think that's definitely helpful because i always like i just second guess myself on notes so like i hit it and i do i'm at the right note but in my mind i'm like am i am i, am I you're still <laughs> listening so i start off really quiet but yeah. i think like opening up after is like Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this will be our a transitional, and this song will be a good way of practicing mm -hmm. that. Like, okay, I'm safe, and now I expand. Yeah. Eventually, you'll get to where you're just open yeah, all the time, yeah. and you won't know how to go back to close. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> all right. So we'll pick up with this next week again. Yay! That's great. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and also, uh, 